<laughs> well, Ralph and Vanellope, otherwise known as John and Sarah, are in the studio now. And, and great to see you. The thing that really surprised me about that clip is that Disney does a send-up of its yeah. all, you know, th th these creatures are like gods they to them let normally. They kind diss the princesses, which is yeah. unusual. Well, not exactly diss the princesses. I think D Disney actually does a really brave thing in our film. It, it addresses some of the stereotypes that it has helped create for girls about yeah. princesses and all this kind of, well, as Sarah likes to call it, unattainable waistlines and that kind of thing. So I think it's a really cool thing that we actually, um, we talk about the roles that girls are expected to fulfill yeah. and, and what, what, uh, what's really right for a girl. Right, Sarah? Yeah, if it's mentionable, it's manageable, as Mr. Yeah. Rogers used yeah. to say. It's quite refreshing to see that, though, isn't it? For, for, I mean, which kids are going to watch, and, and there's a message there um, for your character. Don't tell the kids giving... there's a message, though. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never tell them there's a message they want to see the film. But were you, were you pleased when you saw that scene? Oh, yeah, I just thought it was so cool, so great that Disney was game to do that, to kind of, you know, the movie is, is about being mindful of what you're feeling and trying to figure out what it, that is, you know, and, um, and, and to kind of show this canon of Disney princesses that, you know, is so uh, precious to so many of us, but also has like things that we understand now to be problematic tropes, yeah. the, the damsel in distress saved by a man, but to, you know, cap it off with a little, uh, Jewish nine-year-old kid with a, <laughs> an attainable waist and comfortable clothes, uh -huh. I think, is pretty well, cool. Well, let me ask you, it's funny you say that and you describe the characters. What comes first when they sign you guys up for a movie like this? Do you do the voices and then they create the animation? Or do they have the animation and you guys, like, you know, bring that alive? It's a little bit of both. It's mostly us creating the voices first. So we, we go in and maybe record four hours of dialogue and then it takes the animator something like four weeks to... To catch up. Right. So it's a little bit like leapfrog. My wife and I often voice documentaries and things, and my wife insists we're apart. No, don't. Insists. <laughs> because it would rub you up the wrong way, wouldn't it? Especially when he tells me how to do stuff. Mm. Well, I was just advice. thinking, sitting here looking at you guys, yeah. this is advice. your day job. Yeah. You're married. Yeah. What do you do at home? Like hide from each other yeah. to get some separate, time apart? Separate rooms. <laughs> Normally always. people go to work and that's when they don't see their <laughs> spouses. You guys, it's But you know what I do? It's true. I've got a separate room where I go and watch telly. She, she watches different programs for me. And I've been watching a documentary on Laurel and Hardy. And I'm sorry, Sarah, for, for getting in here. It's but okay. Stan and Ollie, I, you're just amazing. And you, my friend, are playing Oliver Hardy. Right. Yeah, I'm coming back in January to talk all about that movie. Good. Yeah. Well, so we're really excited. It's done very well in the UK already with the reviews and things like that. And and Sarah's a comedian, so I think she appreciates Laurel and Hardy. I too, can't don't wait. You? Yeah. yeah. Um, Christmas. So you're on. You're obviously promoting the tea, the the film at the moment. Do you get home for Christmas? Do they let you out? Give a bit of time off. What do you yes. do for Christmas? I'm going home for Christmas. We we, we had to spend our Thanksgiving, which is a big yeah. American holiday. Yeah. We had to be here in England yesterday. We so. had to be. We're helping. <laughs> did Disney you do that in the Vanellope voice film? there? We did had you, did to you? be here. Can you believe it? <laughs> does that hurt your well, throat luckily, when you're? Because it's very hard. No, does that hurt your ears? <laughs> no, I like it. I like listening to it, but it must be hard to do for four hours at a time. I just go all the way up. All the way to the top. <laughs> Whatever that means. So you bump your head against the ceiling. Yeah. Um, we are going home for Christmas, yeah. though, right? You're going to be there? Uh, Sarah, I don't know. You celebrate Christmas? No, I'm Jewish. Oh, yeah, so. Sarah, I, I'll be say, I have no one to watch my dog. I can't even go on vacation. What do Jewish people do on Christmas? They go out for Chinese food and they go to the movies, right? Yes, and I, I'm one of the few Jews that is not a fan of Chinese food, so I just go to the movies. Just <laughs> there you go. Movies. And do you ever go, would you go, for instance, would you sneak into the back of a cinema uh, to see? audience reaction to what you've done there with Wreck-It Ralph, for instance? Not the back of the cinema, the front. You want to stare through the curtains so you can uh -huh. see their faces while they're watching. What do you watching. think? Uh -huh. You like it? Uh -huh. They'll love it. They'll absolutely love it. If it's anything like the uh, the previous one, it'll be massive, massive success, people. Lovely talking to you both. Thank you yeah, very, nice very much. Nice to see you. Safe journey nice home. Enjoy Thank your you. Christmas. You. And we'll see you. Very comfortable couch you guys it's have nice, here. It's very nice. What a day job Do you job mind you if have. I stay here? Uh, yeah. 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 Relax. Take a quick nap while you're in the next segment. Put your feet up. Have another cushion. There you go. One for your head. Relax. Enjoy.